Hi there, and welcome to the Creatives Get Real podcast. I'm Robin Marie Smith. And I'm Sandy Keen, and these are real conversations about the creative life. Hey, Robin Marie. Hey, dear. How are you? I'm good. It's pouring down rain. Is it pouring yeah. down rain at your house too? <laughs> yes. There's a hurricane. Well, I don't know if it's actually a hurricane, but Ita, who was in Honduras and then has been ping-ponging all over, is now affecting us with some of the outer bands, which is very strange. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's just more 2020 crap. <laughs> it just is. You know, what we'll, will be on Christmas Day? What do you do? Uh, hurricane? <laughs> Well, it, I think we're still in technically within the dates of the season because I know it, it starts at what June and it goes somewhere into November. So we're just we're gonna wait till the very end, aren't we? Oh, it's yeah, crazy. we're we're gonna go past it. Yeah, we just are, yeah. but whatever. Yeah. we're gonna get through this year yeah. no matter freaking well, what. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that said, let I wanted to just say, and I know you probably do, what um, how thankful we are and how kind everyone has been with the announcement last week. Mm -hmm. of us, you know, ending the podcast. And wow, I mean, a lot of, interestingly, a lot of comments, a lot of messages about, you really have given me some things to think about. Yes. I think that was, and we talked about it being goal setting that was just different than maybe, oh, what would I like to do in the new year? Okay, that sounds good. Really mm -hmm. getting in there and almost, you know, in a way, Un being uncomfortable, you know, and I'm still sort of working through that. And I'm, I'm almost at some decisions that I'm like, Oh, I can't believe I made that decision. So we'll see. Ooh, but we wow. want to thank you guys because, um, the love we've just felt the love. Yes. It, it's really cool. And I told Rob Marie that I actually listened to the podcast. Like when it came out, I wanted to listen to it. And, um, yeah, I I thought it was a really good one. I thought it was one of mm -hmm. our best. And we talked about some really important mm -hmm. and very personal things. And yep. um, I imagine myself listening to it again at points saying, okay, it's time to do this. I'm going to listen to that podcast episode one more time. <laughs> yeah. Just a little warm up. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Clean out the closet. And, That's and right. validation, really, I think. Too. Yeah. Yeah. So, Yeah. Well, oddly enough, today we're going to be talking about podcasting. Yeah. Hey, man, all the cool kids are doing it. Should you do it? And this is, I actually had um, one of my Makers Tech U students say, hey, I'd love to learn about podcasting and starting a podcast. I'm like, okay, that's a great topic. So I said, Sandy, what do you think about us doing a podcast episode about it? Because she actually hadn't done one in many, many years. And it is so different the way it works now. Anyone can start a podcast and it's really not that difficult. So, mm -hmm. so we thought we would do this episode on podcasting. Yeah. And we have, we do such um, divergent things in <laughs> podcasting, like our our roles are very uh, gender specific, <laughs> you know, like the, you know, I mow the lawn and take out the garbage and <laughs> you, you take care of the kids <laughs> cook. I mean, we have really defined roles here and we don't overlap at all because you're so techy and I'm good with organization. So, um, yeah, so I, there's things that you do. I have no idea how you do them. So I'm going to be really curious. <laughs> I'm going to have questions for you. Hey, how did you do that? Yeah, how do we do that exactly? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, because I don't do that part. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, our podcast, we don't have guests. So there's that other element, you know, if you decide to do a podcast with guests, you know, how that plays in. But we've got some key points that we're going to kind of run through and basically sort of how we started, um, mm -hmm. you know, how, how we kind of, we, you know, we were both talking about it. Let's do it. And then, you know, what do we do? How do we get started? You know, what do we do from here? Yeah. And I think the biggest and most important thing was what's your theme and subject? Like, what do you mm -hmm. want to talk about? You know, what, what will it be like? And we've shared this before about the time we would be together and creating art and we'd have these great conversations and we'd be like, that would make a great podcast. That's sort of how it happened. We were wanting these real conversations that we were having to be translated and shared. And that's mm -hmm. kind of how we came up with our subject. Right. Yeah. And it was, once we kind of got there, it was pretty easy mm -hmm. to figure things out because we knew this reminds me so much of branding. It's the same kind of the same thing <sighs> yeah, where yeah. this filter, you have this filter now to put things, um, 
to look at things through. It's like, okay, we want to talk about real things in the creative life. And even though that's a fairly broad topic, it did um, take a lot of things out of the realm of possibility. It's like, okay, we're not going to talk about that, 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 or that, because it doesn't fall within that scope. Exactly. But yeah, I, I've really enjoyed it. So finding your theme. The next one is figuring out, do you want a podcast alone? Or do you want, like we did, do you want to do two people? Do you want guests? Figuring mm-hmm. out that part of the format. Sure. And that, you know, what you decide in that, there's there's pluses and minuses to either option. Right. Whether it's you solo, um, to me, that just sounded scary because I'd be like, oh, I have to carry that conversation alone. I have to be the one. Um, what if I can't do that? You know, what, whatever that looks like. And then having a partner and somebody that's co-hosting it, but then not having guests. But then if you go the route of having a guest, I think that there's a complicated, it gets a lot more complicated in that. I think there's two ways to look at it. One complicated as in you're, you have to have a system in place to find the people that you want to interview and have on your show. You have to be willing to accept the fact that people will not follow through and show up when they're supposed to, to be mm-hmm. interviewed, which can happen. But at the same time, if you are consistent in your format, you can kind of have a flow that works for everybody. You know, similar questions that kind of, you know, it depends, but I guess I can kind of see a positive and a negative for both of those. Yeah, it does bring about um, different viewpoints and that's nice to have. But for me, the thought of coordinating with a new, a different person every week or every month or how often you do it to me is just like, Oh, that's a lot of work. Yeah. I I can't even imagine the ones that do um, interviews every single week. Now I I'm, there are podcasts that do solo and then they'll have guests on so that it's Mm -hmm. sort of a balance there. That could be an option too. Right. So yeah. But there are a lot of, yeah, a lot of things to think about depending Mm -hmm. on, which way you go. You're right. Yep. There's pros and cons to all of them. Mm-hmm. You know, this, this is just what worked for us. And we've yeah. had people approach us and say, yeah. Hey, would you, can I be a guest on your podcast? We're like, no. Yeah. No, we're not taking guests, but thank you. Yeah. Yes, we, thank, yes. Thank you. But yeah, coordinating all of mm-hmm. that. No. And then there's the technical part that you have to coordinate with them as well. Right. And then there's time zones and there's, you know, there's a whole lot of things to consider and, um, and frequency, you know, are you going to do your podcast every week? Is it going to be every other week, once a month? I really don't think once a month, mm, I just don't think that really works that well. Um, mm-hmm. weekly is a lot of work, but I think it's a great platform because people are ready and they're tuning in and they want to know what the net, you know, what's the next thing. And right. as somebody who listens to podcasts, I'm anxious for that new podcast every week as well. And I know right. you are, you're the one that got me hooked on podcasts. Yeah, I do. I really enjoy podcasts. And and a lot of that is because of my lifestyle. I'm alone Mm -hmm. a lot. My (laughs) husband works outside of the house. He commutes. So I'm alone a large portion of the day. So Mm -hmm. having something that keeps my brain busy while I'm doing, I'm painting or cleaning or whatever I'm doing, to me, that's a real coping mechanism for loneliness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great point. That's yeah, especially, point. you know, hello, COVID, who doesn't need a podcast, if nothing <laughs> else, to keep your mind off of things. Sure, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so let's talk about what technical skills that you need to create one. And this, my friend, is all you. <laughs> well, and I want to preface this first by saying, Sandy and I chose to do our podcast, um, not as polished as probably most podcasts are where they get deep into the equipment and the editing where you could spend hours just, you know, fine tuning everything in the audio and all that. We decided we really wanted to do a podcast, but we didn't really have the time to commit to all of that or paying Mm -hmm. someone to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, And so we decided we were going to keep it real and we were going to record our podcasts. If we are Together, we simply have a dual lavalier mic that we plug into the laptop and we use GarageBand. It comes free on the Mac. 
Right. And then we will do Zoom when we are not together, which is great because we still want to see each other face to face. It makes for a much better and easier conversation. And then Zoom will extract the audio. And so we got the audio right from it and then we're able mm -hmm. to use that. So um, I think it depends on how polished you want it to be. Right. Um, once we get the audio, it goes into GarageBand. I go through it. And most of the editing that I do is simply cutting things out which doesn't happen very often that we have to cut something out, you know, a doorbell rings or we start sneezing or something, you know, it just, mm -hmm. and, or we just get laugh. We also laugh a lot and cut up and then we have to cut that out too. Right. Sometimes, sometimes I'll leave it in. Um, or we get lost. Like, or we go, oh, um, can we pause for a minute? I don't know what I was, I don't know what I'm saying. I know. What was that I was talking about? Oh yeah, that's right. So, um, so as far as technical skills, I think that whoever, if it's you or your partner, somebody will need to be able to um, do the editing and as far as putting together the, the audio file. And then really from that point, you know, we did the research to figure out what platform we wanted. You know this is going to get kind of techy, but basically you, you pay for a service where you upload your audio files and all the details about the podcast. And then they sort of at the date that you want it to go live, it all gets disseminated to all the places like Apple Podcasts, Stitcher. You don't have to upload those to all those different platforms. You apply, you get accepted, and then the service that you're using to do your podcast is the one that actually does all of that for you. So it's really easy. I think back in the day, you had to do a lot of that yourself. So it's not as confusing as I think it used to be to do it. So, and I just did some research and found one that I thought really the interface was easy. It looked good. It was affordable and that's the way we went. So I know that's not going into all the nitty gritty details of it, but, um, but as far as equipment, you just need the software. You need to have a microphone <laughs> and depending on how complicated or how real super polished you want it to be, that's all you really need. Yeah, we really did choose the real version or as I like to call it down and dirty. Yep, you know, yep. it's just simple. Mm -hmm. uh, let's not be complicated. Let's just do this simple. Right. And it's and because we do it every week and there are things that, you know, go into putting it together, we didn't want to have to spend too many hours every single week working on that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could, we could have outsourced it, but then that would have been an expense. And then you'd have to coordinate with somebody else. And there's times, guys, where we might just do the podcast on a Wednesday and it gets all edited and it goes out on Thursday. We don't right. always work ahead weeks and weeks. And I bet a lot of podcasts do that. They work weeks and weeks and weeks ahead. We just didn't do that. Mm -hmm. We really kept it real from the all perspectives. So right. yeah. Yeah. That made it for me, at least I thought that just made it so much more mm -hmm. pleasant for it not to be another thing that had to be coordinated and was complicated and sure. all that. So yeah. easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's talk about equipment. Is there any specific equipment that you need? I mean, other than the software um, and whether you choose to use GarageBand, another really good software application for this, um, for the editing is Audacity. Um, but like I said, we use Zoom for when we can't be together. And when we're together, we just use a dual lavalier mic that we plug into the laptop and it gives each one of us a lapel mic. And we use that. Um, that's it. <laughs> we really didn't have to, I mean, I got the lavalier mic, but we didn't have to get anything else. Right. And right now we're just using our earbuds into the computer while we're, you know, on mm -hmm. Zoom. Yep. So really that is really the only equipment that you really need. If you're going to go with it, down, uh, simple, not down and dirty, as you said. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing that we use, and I know everyone will be shocked, but we use Trello. Oh, that's right. I mean, yeah. It, uh, yeah. Application Trello. Yeah. Not, yeah. not necessarily equipment, but definitely something that we absolutely use. Oh, that's how we organize everything that we're doing. Right. And yes. that's where we keep track of ideas. Mm -hmm. Um, because that's one of the hardest things is coming up. Like what the heck yes. are we going to talk about? <laughs> You know, sometimes yeah. life hands us our topic and that's really nice. And then other times we're like, do you have anything? I don't have anything. What do we talk about? I don't know. So we try to put things in there and go, all right, let's see what our, what our little list 
what's on the list? Maybe there's something yeah. there that looks good. Of and ideas. Um, yep. yeah, and inside Trello, we're able to, um, you know, we put the Zoom link in there that, that all of the things that we need that are all related to the podcast go in there. And if you are going to have guests or anything like that, you absolutely need to have a way to keep yourself as organized as you can with dates. And then we, you know, things that are being edited go in one place. Then when they're done, then it, you have to do all the promotional things. And we, and I use Canva to put together all the promo graphics because you need to put together promo graphics too. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it, I would definitely say um, equipment in the sense of software and all Trello and Canva for sure in that as yeah. well. Now I kind of, I do the technical side of things, but Sandy, is the one that really handles keeping that or the Trello organized. And then also really the writing part, the, the show notes, the, you know, kind of expanding on things that we talk about. That's not really my wheelhouse. No, that's, yeah, that's something that, you know, don't give me garage band, but it Trello. <laughs> heck yeah. I'm a queen. I can, I can handle Trello. Yeah. So my job is to, you know, I come up with an outline of talking mm -hmm. points to help us stay on track. And so that we cover all the things that we think are important mm -hmm. to cover. So, and it's helpful just to have, you know, some outline of things that we're going to discuss. So when we're finished, we're not looking at each other going, okay, now what do we talk about? We just yeah. pop over our eyes, shift over to yeah. our list. And we're like, yeah. okay, here's the next thing we're talking about. Right. And we just yep. keep going and it helps keep us on track. Yeah. And it's really, it is just an outline. We are not scripted. I would like to oh, think they know most, everybody knows we're not scripted. Um, I've listened to some podcasts where I was like, hmm. Are you reading? Are you Because it sounds that? like you're reading. Exactly. Yeah. And guys, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you really don't. People yeah. are tuning in because they want a, a conversation. They want to, they don't want to have something scripted. So, but having notes and those key elements already kind of written out does make it a lot easier to stay on track and also mm -hmm. not miss any of the important details or anything you wanted to include in your episode. Right. You're not, Oh dang, I forgot to say, can well, where do we fit this in? Can you edit this in somewhere? <laughs> yeah. Cause I forgot to say this and it was really, yeah. really important. Yeah. 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 So those talking points really do help. And they literally are bullet points that mm -hmm. we look at and then yeah. we, just talk about the next one. Mm -hmm. So the next bullet point on our list is <laughs> how often will you podcast? Yeah. So that's the next question. And we talked a little bit about that, that for mm -hmm. continuity, mm -hmm. um, weekly is really good. Now, you know, life happens and sometimes you have to miss. And, so we, and you, we did, and we did. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have missed. So you either want to stay ahead Mm -hmm. It's nice to have, you know, one in the bank, like if yep. somebody sick, something happens, it's like, Hey, let's pull out that podcast and, you know, let's use that one. Or you just take the week off and, mm -hmm. you know, and you we've rerun, you know, we've taken some from the archives, which is not an uncommon thing and plays back, you know, some of the ones that we really felt were really good episodes. And then we also, and I, I know there are other podcasters that do this. We actually do, we didn't have it set up. Our podcast isn't really like a seasonal thing where we're talking about one topic and then we end it, but mm -hmm. we decided we needed a little time off. So we took, you know, the Christmas month off. We took a month off in the summer. We've taken some time off because we're in season three. So we've taken two breaks in, you know, right. in between one and two and two and three. And that really worked out great because it just, we needed a break, you know, mm -hmm. because it is every week that we're doing this. And so that's something you can consider when you go into it. If you want to do it where you're doing, you know, a, a few months, maybe once a quarter, you take a couple weeks off or a month or whatever. But I know a lot of podcasters do that. Yeah. I, it's just to save your sanity. There's <laughs> yes. only so much you can fit into a week. So it's really good to mm -hmm. have those like, okay, there's a break mm -hmm. coming. Yay. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, you just get a break from doing it and it's really nice. Oh, for sure. So let's talk about our own personal experiences with podcasting. What was the thing that you loved the most about the podcast experience? <laughs> it's not related to podcasting, actually. That it's, doesn't matter. It's that I got to see you every week. Aww, Honestly, so You're gonna make it really is because I always got to see you. We 
always touched base. We were always, whether we were in person, most of the time we were doing these, um, you know, via Zoom. Zoom. Yeah. But at least every week, unless we did two episodes and then skipped a week, I always got to see you catch up, like literally video. I mean, we still text mm-hmm. each other and we do stuff during the week, but I don't know. I just felt so like was connection. It was, it was a, that was like the bonus of doing it. Mm-hmm. So that's not a real element of the podcast. Cause if somebody's doing a solo podcast, they're not going to have, you know, their friend with them every week, but that was a big, that's, that was a big thing for me. I, I mean, I did. Um, the other thing I think too, was that it gave me, I want to say content from like a business standpoint to promote and to share and then leapfrog off of some of those things to be able to go, you know what, that was a great episode. Maybe I need a blog post on that, or maybe I need something else on that. So, or maybe I need to do a download for that. So I felt like it, it helped me in my business too. Mm -hmm. Um, So I guess that from another standpoint, I'd say that was something else I really loved. How about you? Um, Gosh, there was a lot of things (laughs) I loved. Um, Again, talking about, you know, being alone all the time, I too Mm -hmm. really enjoyed our conversations. You know, we have different perspectives on things, you know, not only because there's difference in age, your tech, I'm coaching. Um, So we come at things from opposite Mm -hmm. ends of the spectrum. So I just thought it was so interesting to hear a different viewpoint. And sometimes the questions that you ask, because you know, those are spontaneous. Those aren't, you know, on our list. Mm -hmm. Um, Or I, you know, I would say, hey, you're not expecting me to say this, but I'm going to ask you this question. Um, And you would have to answer it. So those spontaneous moments, Mm -hmm. those are the things that I really enjoyed. And then just knowing that um, some of the things that we talked about made a real difference Mm. in people's lives and businesses. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that that was pretty cool when somebody mm-hmm. said, "Hey, I listened to this podcast, and you really affected, you know, mm-hmm. change in my life, or mm-hmm. the way I was thinking of something completely differently, yeah. and you turned it around for me." And how many times did we hear or get a message that I, oh my goodness, I needed to hear that episode right now? Yeah, and you're just like, "Wow, you love it when you you hear that." Hmm. Yeah, that's really cool. And you know, sometimes it was it was so funny. It was I was the person that needed to hear it. It's so funny. Oh, I mean, there are times good. when I listened, I always listen to our podcast mm-hmm. when it comes out. Um, not only from content and all the different reasons that I listen to it, but sometimes I needed to hear it again. Right. Like, yes. Yeah. Yes. What I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> listen to her. Oh, that right. hurts me, but listen to me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that is, that's, re- a, that's a great, uh, that's a great point. It, it really reinforced things mm-hmm. for me. It's like, yes, that is what I believe. And that's what I'm telling other people to do. I need to take my own freaking <laughs> advice. <laughs> that's so true. Right. Oh my gosh. Yes. It's like how many times I remember going, okay, 24 hour rule. You don't make a decision yes. right now. You need to wait. Don't yes. make a decision right now. Yes. And My husband back. and I talk about that mm-hmm. too, because he, he listens to our podcast mm-hmm. and we'll just look at each other and go 24 hour roll. <laughs> yeah. It's a way of life. Absolutely. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It and is. The, yeah. And we, we actually, that was one of our early episodes and then we did, we aired it again as a, um, as an archive, but we've, we've got a lot of feedback on that one. That's just that needs yeah, to just to it, be a way you approach everything really. So in coaching, the two podcast episodes that people talk about the most are the 24 hour rule and the box of transparency. Mm. So if so you important. have not heard those, please go back and listen to them. Mm-hmm. And if you have consider listening to them again anyway, Absolutely. just to remind you as a great reminder of, Oh yeah, there, mm-hmm. there's the answer right there. And I mm-hmm. need to keep doing that. Yep. Absolutely. Totally agree. All right. So what did we not like? You go first on this one. (laughs) Okay. What did I not like? For me, the hardest part was the obligation. It was the, I got to do this every week. I got to fit this in. Um, It didn't matter. You know, sometimes like you're on vacation, we've podcast while we're, we've 
I know mm-hmm. I've been on vacation. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, sometimes it's like, you take your earbuds with you and your computer with you. That's right. And you podcast. So for me, it was the obligation. Yeah. Yeah. And we were even you. on vacation together when we were doing it. Yes. <laughs> when we, we were in the mountains, remember? I think we did. I can remember one of the episodes was like where we find inspiration. Isn't that funny? And I can remember the flowers and the garden. Anyway, it's funny and the, the things you remember in the birds. Yeah. The Actually, beauty. we are the same on that. I I loved doing the podcast, but oh my goodness. Oh, it would be like, I have got to get this edited. You know, I have to get these graphics done. And I loved doing it, but then the work that came after was you had to get it done. And so right. I think that was it. But I felt like it needed to be a weekly podcast, not every other week. But um, but yeah, the obligation, you know, we committed to doing this, we're gonna do this. Mm-hmm. And you know, it is something that's every week, you know, it's not like you you just say, I think I'm going to do this today or whatever. You literally, you know, it's on your plate. So it's a commitment. Yeah. It's, it's a, a marriage. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So I say that was the same for me too. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Our next question is what surprised us? Hmm. Do you want to think? Cause I know what mine is. Um, yeah, I need to think what's, what was yours? Uh, what surprised me was how many people listened not as entertainment, but listened and really like people told me I took notes. I'm like, really? You took notes? I'm like, yeah, there were things I wrote down. I'm oh like, okay, goodness. okay. Well, I can see like, you know, 24 yeah. hour rule uh-huh. or the goal setting one or box transparency. There are ones that, yeah, you're, you're right. Taking notes yeah. would be yeah. really good. So I guess it was our, um, our reach and our mm-hmm. impact. Because yeah. I didn't know if it more than like 30 people would listen. Exactly. We had no clue. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think, you know, I'm kind of thinking of this. I really did not think of this in advance, but I believe that, and, and I don't know, I, I think I would say that, and this would be more for me than you, but that, that I was able to provide insight and knowledge about so many different topics that it's like, wow, okay, I guess I do know some things about these topics, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's like, hey, I, you know, cause I was like, oh, am I gonna have anything to say? Do I have anything to say on that? I don't know if, I, if I'm the person to give that advice, but it's like, wow, there's like this arsenal of great stuff out there. And that, you know, like you said earlier, we each have different perspectives. And I feel mm-hmm. like I learned a lot myself, even though we were putting ourselves in the expert position of we're sharing this information. We were just having conversations just like we normally do. But right. I feel like I've learned a lot too in, too. in just the conversations and mm-hmm. the topics and things. So, um, and because you don't really know what it's going to be like to podcast, you know, I guess a lot of things would surprise you really. Yeah. So. And you know, sometimes the surprise was per episode, like, wow that went somewhere I didn't expect it to go. Yes. You you know, that kind of thing was Mm -hmm. really fun, whether it was a very playful Mm -hmm. episode and didn't really expect that, or it was a very serious one. Mm -hmm. Like, Oh, I didn't think it was going to get that deep, like Mm -hmm. gold setting. You you don't get deeper than that. episode. (laughs) And we did because there were times when our little outline was pretty sparse. Like we Mm kind of had a general idea and we would just, just, riff riff and it just that's what happened yeah so yeah yeah Mm. so are you guys ready to do a podcast now (laughs) well listen (laughs) (laughs) oh goodness so yeah but I I think this was fun to talk about this because a lot of people are doing podcasts do do we feel like it's saturated out there no because there's so many places there's you have you know if you feel like you have something to offer um, I would seriously consider doing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. But just know that there does come the day when you're like, I think we're done. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And it, it's yeah. bittersweet. It is. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, well, that's all we have to say about that. That's true. <laughs> all right, guys. So we appreciate you and we will... I guess we have another one. Yeah, we have another one next week. And then we're going to take Thanksgiving week off the following week. So 
Yeah, yeah, I think we have, after this one, we have three more episodes that are kind That's of right. sprinkled yeah. throughout November and December because we will be taking holidays off and, mm -hmm. you know, going fun right. places and spending it with fun people. That's right. All right, then. All right. Thanks for listening. Take care. Thank you for listening to this episode of Creatives Get Real. We love hearing from you. So hop on over to Instagram and leave us a comment. And we also appreciate reviews on iTunes. And you can find me, Sandy Keen, at sandykeen.com and my classes at popupartclasses.com. And you can find me, Robin Marie Smith, at robinmarie.com. And if you're looking for and need tech support, check out my membership site, makerstechu.com.